spot. Snow can, how can you explain that? Snow melt. It's really warm. I mean, we hit 80 in uh, Shelton yesterday, 79 degrees in Bellevue, 75 out at SeaTac before the rain came in. Snow levels yesterday were up around 10, 11,000 feet. So still a lot of snowpack and lower elevation snowpack. So if you think about it, when you go to lower elevations, there's a lot more area mm -hmm. and a lot more snow to melt going into the rivers pretty quickly. So it's unusual for us to get, uh, you know, just melt flooding, but uh, in e even in eastern Washington, we don't get too much of it. But yeah, but it's really the Okanagan is, you know, hitting major flood uh, conditions. So it will be cooling down for a couple of days, but then it's going to warm right back up again over the weekend. So probably some more flooding problems over there on the east side of the Cascades. West side, we did get that rain in late yesterday afternoon. It was uh, brief and heavy for a while, and then it moved on through with a few showers overnight. Today, we're just going to have a few showers around. Not going to be too bad a day, and we'll see some sunshine mixed in. Tomorrow looks like the wetter of the two days by far. Quiet morning looking out from our Seattle Tower Cam and mild out there. Of course, cloud cover after a warm day yesterday, mostly in the mid to a few upper 50s showing up around western Washington, east the Cascades, 50s and 60s to begin the day. The off the radar shows most of the shower action taking place up in the Cascades. You can see down in the lowlands, really not much still on that I-5 corridor this morning, which is good news. A few showers up there around Mount Vernon right now, but uh, nothing should really severely impact that morning commute. Checking the University of Washington high resolution model, you can see as we head towards mid day. We'll have a few clouds around. We'll see a few showers around, so partly sunny, a few showers today. Then as we head towards tomorrow, an upper level disturbance is going to be moving in here overnight. Early tomorrow morning, that'll be swinging through for a round of showers for the morning commute. And then in the afternoon, we're going to form the convergence zone. That'll produce a pretty good rainfall there over the central sound and Kitsap Peninsula into tomorrow night. But then as we head towards Friday morning, we'll have clouds to start the day, clearing out to sunshine. Still on track to see a sunny and very warm weekend headed our way. So for today overall partly sunny just a few showers around definitely cooler today temperatures dropping back to the mid 60s for tomorrow look for showers and sun breaks temperatures are going to be cool upper 50s and low 60s we head into friday a few morning clouds and partly sunny mid to upper 60s sunny upper 70s saturday look for upper 70s and low 80s on sunday hanging right around the 80 degree mark on monday and then we settle into a pattern of morning clouds and afternoon sun it looks like for the middle part of the week with temperatures in the upper 60s and low 70s so a uh, little bit of moisture there for the new plants and then it warms up for the weekend and mother's day on sunday